Hi, it's Guy DiMartino. I am a Northwest Indiana state planning and probate lawyer. And today I would like to answer the question, when should you hire a probate lawyer? But before I get started, if you have any questions regarding a Northwest Indiana probate matter or estate planning matter, you can always reach out to me at indianastatemeeting.com. I'd be more than happy to spend a few moments with you and answer all your questions. So the question was, well, when should I hire a probate lawyer? So the first thing is you're definitely going to hire a probate lawyer after somebody has passed away. But the question should also entail how soon after? Well, after the person is buried and after the family gets an idea of what type of assets there are, probably be good to at least speak with a probate lawyer to determine if there are assets that have to go through probate. Then the lawyer can sit down with you and explain the process. For instance, you can't do anything with the assets of an estate until somebody is appointed the personal representative of the estate. So if you want to go ahead and get a bank account that might be payable to the estate or retirement accounts that might be payable to the estate or do something with the person who passed away's home or condo, you really can't do anything with those until a personal representative is appointed by the court and gets something called letters of administration or letters testamentary, which gives them the legal power to act on behalf of the estate. So the earlier you do that, the earlier you'll get information about the best ways to proceed. Because sometimes I meet with folks and I tell them, you know, right now you probably don't need a lawyer. You probably want to wait a certain amount of months, or sometimes I recommend that they wait a year for some other issues and then file the probate. And at that time you would need to hire a probate lawyer. It's a good idea generally to hire a probate lawyer to help you through the process because there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through. There's a lot of notices that have to be given out. There's accounting that needs to be done. There might be issues with personal uh, tax returns that need to get done that you might need directed or you might have to file an estate tax return even though the estate will probably not have to pay any money under certain circumstances. So there are a lot of areas where a personal representative can get themselves in a bind if they don't hire a lawyer. But the timing is you probably want to talk to a lawyer initially, and then you all can decide the best time to hire the attorney. If you have any questions regarding a Northwest Indiana probate, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino. Have a great day.